Ha! Welcome back. I like how they say it's supposed to be unfair. But I think it's only really unfair when you're playing it on Doom when resurrecting monsters are on the edge. But it's actually used the shit really on. The use of this weapon is pretty good. So, in case you forgot, the um, I think the golems are like significantly stronger when they have the range attack. I don't think these guys have the same effect. They are a little bit worse. Looks like minor stuff when they have the range attack. Oh god, no, this is- Oh, this is that level! Oh cool, this time we start with a good shotgun. The other one's nice, but I like the range of this one a little bit more. It's a bit more uh, flexy sexable in, in that way. We're just gonna have to take care of you, huh? If I can take care of you, now. That'd be awesome. Ooh, ammo backpack. Well, um... Oh! I completely forgot he exists in this level. Well. We're just gonna have to... There was an answer to this puzzle. I think it lies on the other side. gonna kick my ass. And be such a whiny baby. I don't wanna be a whiny baby. I'm happy just the way I am. See you later, sucker! with the man with the gun, you get the bull. Oh, you want to try me, boy? Oh, you want to try me? I got the shotgun, man. I can do this all day. Oh my god, do you shoot like fucking Mario Man? I got whiskey! Take a sip! Oh, you're in here, huh? That was awesome. That was just perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I like how you get the key, and it's like, what do you do next? And it's like, well, heaven knows. Where, where you meet the cool people. Nice. Cut you up, boy. I got a knife. I know you're back there, so... 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> Sorry for being a little sassy today, but nope. A dwe oh my goodness, does it turn all the time bomb of the ancients into that? That's awesome! Oh, you're probably new here. You don't know what the time bomb of the ancients is, do you? Yeah, you're a little bit dumb. No, time bomb of the ancients are like little bombs, you could, little, little hourglasses you could drop on the ground that would blow back a little bit. They're pretty cool. Uh, they weren't pretty very useful. They were just kind of cool. Uh, the problem was, getting enemies to actually sit still on the bomb so they could detonate and do their damage was... Uh with a parlor trick. Get over here. No, that's a void. That was because I really don't like you. Normally I wouldn't waste my ammo like that, but... The funny part is, by the way, uh, unless you use a Tome of Power, your conventional melee attack and heretic could not hurt these guys, because it was considered a physical attack, and thus we'd ignore them in their ethereal form. However, because this version removes that element, which again, I think is kind of kind of lame. I do want to replay this on, on, like, straight hard mode on vanilla, because I don't like responding monsters. I kind of like the idea of trying this legit uh, on a higher difficulty and just see how far I can get before I start to cry and, and call for my mom. Oh, this is great. Love it. Don't throw your fucking cigarettes in the water, man. That's pollution. That's half a looting. Oh my god, I love how blazing here makes you smoke. Like nuts. So the reason that I always thought that this wasn't like a, a this was a, a tick tock of the clock instead of a, a dripping water, is because it's so it's it's regular. It's like clock, 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 clock. It's very very regular compared to what those kinds of things usually are, which is uh, dripping water to be a little bit more regular. I feel the drone we are looking for is half loot. That boy! We don't take kindly to people, we don't take kindly to people around here. I don't take kindly to people in general, so... A join the club. So I got to say half the looting, which is always a good day in my book. There's some people down there. Oh, that's so cute. You tried so hard and you came so far, but in the end it really... Can I just fucking throw this? Thank you. Okay, they're nice and soft. Let's go give them hell. Why does everything send me back here? Every fucking thing is like, Hey, you wanna go back to the starting room? Oh. But that's pretty bad. 
No, no, no! By the highfalutin gods! Ah! Good doctor. Someone say half lootin' a couple of times just so I feel a little bit better about myself. Just cut up them boys. I like how I got berserk this late into the level and I'm like, I don't even care about this. Uh, we missed a secret. Interesting. Very interesting, Mr. Jones. We missed a secret. I don't even know where to start with this. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll just do kitty and see what's inside this special loot box. Oh, it's all the way up here, and it's just a, a box of bullets. That's nothing I care about really. Half loot. It's just a fun word to say. Wouldn't you say it? I'd say it. Oh god, this level really... I forgot how fast this one advances. Uh, we need to figure something out in fast, because this is gonna go real bad, real fast, and it's gonna blow up on my face, and I'm gonna die. Well, might as well go with the highfalutin plan. And now we let him come to me. Safer. But that takes effort and work. Let's just take care of the fuel. Okay, that's a really clean set of kills. I can just get one side secure. I feel so much better. Oh my god. I actually did it. You go to hell. You go to hell. Everyone go to hell. Hell Train 101, leaving in Station 5. I saw you. You can hear them whispering. And what they whisper is, It's like, what are you whispering? It's like, nothing. Here's a whole lot of nothing for you, kid. Here's looking at you. I want a rock, rock. Actually, I want a boulder. Can I have a boulder, please? It's a boulder. Oh, the old cowboys used to ride them boys 15 miles through the snow. Good. Mission complete. <clears throat> Sorry. Mission complete. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. That's a different game, actually. But a man can dream. And a man can sleep, and a man can say hello to his wife. A man can do many things, all at once, or one at a time. It all depends on how much he just wants to say hi for loot. This is a situation I like to call the, let's just pull out the bobs and stop pretending. <laughs> oh, you're all up my, up my feet steps. Please. Come on, come all to my famous festival, de la festival. Oh, how did you get up here? How the hell did he get? Did he get blown up here by an explosion? Doesn't make any sense. People don't explosion. Oh, they're all alive. What are called? I think they're called Ophidians, which makes me sad because Ophidia has a name very similar to that. A little bit different, but close enough that people might be like, it's it's, it's the Ophidians! And it's like, oh no, not the video games. Oh, I think I see how this works. I think? Okay. Yo, I'm supposed to do it a step at a time. <sighs> Half loot! So that's how he got up here. It's because the elevator turned on. Well, alright then. 
It's a nice way to force the player to actually go around. Say hello, shake some hands, make some friends. The Uranium Shot. Now... Excuse me for not being the most educated of men. But I wanna know what the hell that does. It's only 50 junk. I can, I can afford it. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's that's neat, but I'm not using that too much. Um, skill, um, skill, um, skill, um, skill. It's like, God damn, man, you're not even trying with that whisper. Oh, yeah, I have ammo chunk. Slaps the roof of that fucking machine gun. This bad boy can shoot so many bullets. I like the little sway it has. Like it doesn't just it doesn't just budge back. It just goes boop boop. Okay, where do we go now? I think we gotta do this one because I was slightly distracted. I'm, I'm doing this on my own terms. I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is this is this is entirely what the fuck I want it to be. Like I don't have to worry about anything. These are, there's no quality control here, kids. No quality control here, kids. Ha ha ha! They were already dead. Ha ha ha! All that laugh took a good. Shit, that's on you, sir. I ain't the one peddling. Oops. Gotta hit him straight on, and then they just fall over and, 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 and eat a eat a eat a panai. After all, it's not a panai. It's not Pen Island. I love, love that Tom Scott video where he's like, listen, you can't actually do this. You can't actually make a good filter because you're going to have to deal with situations where your your context filter sucks or people can get by it. Either your thing is too strict and it fucks people over or it's not strict enough and people just bypass it. Because language is fucking language and you can't do shit about it. Okay, the green door is over here. I always forget where the green door is. I always forget where the any key is on my keyboard, but luckily I, I, I have a degree or I will have a degree soon and then... I'll never have to answer that question again, because I'll have a degree, and if you have a degree, you know everything automatically. Excuse me, sir. Don't you cast light? Yeah, thank you. I such a generous boy. Those are such lovely big targets. Okay, once this happens, draw. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh no, baby no, baby please. This could go bad, real fast. No, oh, you're kidding me. The fucking whirlwind decides to come around and it's like I'm a whirlwind. I spin around. Woo. Oh hello. Why, hello there. He usually gets stuck in the water because of his charge attack, and I was like, okay. I understand the point is that you would fight him in a tight corridor, but, like, even vanilla, he's kind of a sad boss as a result of this particular uh, hiccup. Also, I wish that anyone that ever makes a custom uh, difficulty mode includes a little chart that tells you exactly what the difficulty mode does. Can we get out there? Is that a thing you can do? I'm kind of curious now. If you're supposed to get out there, it's a lethal proposition. But I get a free knife, I guess. Which I think will be the Necromancer Gauntlets. In Milli Vanilli. Oh, an ambulance. Oh. This level's kind of neat. It's got a neat gimmick going for it. Like, a lot of these are just it's a neat gimmick. Ah, I got some nice memes. I love a good meme. 
Uh, the meme I got this time was someone who's like anim like a, a summoning circle for Animal Crossing with Switch. Which I hope Nintendo does, and I hope every single person at Nintendo is like, we don't want to do this anymore, just gets kicked out. And they just hire someone who can who can do it. Because I understand that you don't want to do shit, but you're in you're in the video game industry. People want the same thing. Yeah, the, these used to be hourglasses is uh, a little bit funky. Because the balance just doesn't hold up. Because now they're like super powerful bonus items that are a lot easier to use. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, it's the one! Okay. Come on. Shoot. Cool. I imagine that if you're actually playing this, that's like one hell of a fucking trip, man. It's like, whoa. What happens again if you step out? I think it's like it just crushes you. Yeah, that, that one specific one goes to crush you. It's its own ammo type. I'm gonna the problem is, there's really nothing stopping you from just running under a couple of them and being safe. I like how uh, that was... Step one! Find the key! Step two! Find the door! The three-step plan. Brought to you by Nintendo from Capri Sun. It's the merger of a century! It's the merger no one's been asking for. It's the merger everyone's been dreading. It's the merger your mother wouldn't believe if you told her about it. I like the idea of this being like a hunting rifle. Because it doesn't kill gargles all that effectively, but it's still fun. That's an ancient cigarette, and I want it. I want it all. I want it all. I want it now. I love how you can tell where the doors are, but it's like... Yeah, we're not opening these. They are. The door is closed. Stop having it be closed. So, uh, how badly do you want the green key? That feels like a show-off of like, look at this cool technology we just developed. Look at this ancient technology. Hmm. Why, hello there, sir. Hmm. Oh, cool, Berserk. So now I can just cut a bitch up. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I, I, I want to say, don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time having a ball, 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 ball. I'm having such a good time. 600 degrees. Which bitch wants to get cut? Which of you female dogs would like to taste defeat? Wow, he actually makes me go down. That's cool. But I cut him up! Yeah! Oh yeah, I was here for the key! I forgot why I was here, it's, it's, it's for the key! And every time you unlock like a new area, it does this, which is nice. This is like, hey, you get to get a little extra goodies. Low cost, not a, not a major challenge to get through. That is such a fucking, uh... Like, uh, what is it called again? Castle Wolfenstein? Like, in Castle Wolfenstein, that's how doors work, is they were literally blocks that slid up or something. That's so nice! I like that. That's cool. It makes me go, oh, that's so cute! That's so retro! Went on and intentionally trigger a few of them. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no. There's something so satisfying about this knife once you get berserk. It's like you can just cut a bitch up. 
And I like, I, I just like, I just like saying that. I would like to point out that again, there is a big difference between the things I say and the things I intend to do. Um, I would preferably never have to put a knife to someone. That would make me very grossed out for one. But look at how satisfying this is. It goes poop. That's a good turning radius. All over there. Why? What made them think that was the smart place to be? Disney XD. <gasps> Maybe it was Disney XD. I have parts. I need to spend them. And that goes like you walk in. It's like ah, I remember all that. No, that's not a problem anymore. <laughs> what was once shall never be, and what once is will never come. Okay. Then what did that do? Oh. Serious damage. And I'm personally more of a fan of the serious bomb. If I recall correctly, the the sound clip for serious bomb is like serious bomb. The lady's like afraid. She's like, oh no, god, don't use that, please. Uber or do not use or. I forgot that little area opens up. Well, it's time to commit some highfalutin crime. Hello, would you like to commit a crime? Crimes? Wait, there was no one interesting up here? I thought there were like a... The, I guess the wizard guy was somewhere else. Now that's highfalutin. I got to the ethereal one this time. It's like, ah, you thought you were, you know, what's coming. Awesome. Pissed off half the known universe. What to what end? Oh, this can only end well. Just believe in your souls. They'll be dark, which is a good thing because it gives you extra item discovery as well as extra defenses. So let them souls be dark, kids. Don't forget to put lime in your water, or you'll just be drinking coconut. Which one of you is the half loop one? And which one of you is the low rider? And which one of you continuously and frustratingly keeps singing the Ghostbusters theme song? <laughs> He's just super frustrated about it. Ah yes, we're going to need him more than anyone else on this team. It's like, what is this skill set? It's like, have you been paying attention? He very passive-aggressively sings Ghostbusters. There's no demon that cannot be slain. That technique. It's like, are you are you sure? Are you sure this man is the answer?
Why does it do this so often? So often it's like, you know what the ancient secret is? He just show up to work late one day. He's just he just sits in the back of the car. That's all he does. The whole character is just defined by that one trait. And like the big boss, like the big baddie at the end is like, we must capture this man, for he is the most dangerous of all our foes. And they show up at the end, and it's like. They, 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 they're at the panels, like, hey, he put in a sound code of some sorts. If we can decipher the exact words he said, we might be able to figure out how he did this. And the guy goes, brum, 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 brum. It's like that turns out to be the key, and everyone's like, what the fuck? He knew about this specifically, and yet he made his password. And they're like, that's because he knew exactly what he was thinking about. That's annoying. Because if you are reliant on distant uh, evaluations of situations, that doesn't pay off, because you're like, oh, I can't go there, but you can't. I hate that so much. I want to hire the guy who did it, and then I want to fire him. And then I'll say, You're hereby released from the company because I can't say you're fired anymore. See, this, those doors usually communicate you cannot open this. But now they're just using it for whatever the hell they feel like. I talked about this, and it's important to establish a language. A lingo, if you wish. By which you can communicate what exactly an object is. A lit door, you can interact with. An unlit door, you can't interact with. These are important things to establish and keep consistent. Also important things to say. Get down on the ground. Get on the ground. It almost sounds like German for get on the ground. One, two, three, four, everyone walk the dinosaur. That's what my neighbor used to say. Then my neighbor died. But he didn't just die from any old sickness. He died from an ancient sickness that has not been heard from in years. Lelia even. The sickness is called jungle fever. Oh, I do have a light source on me. I didn't know. I don't think uh, you get... Ethereal golems are always ethereal uh, uh, shooty golems. I don't think there's any ethereal golems that cannot shoot attacks. I'm gonna look that up, actually. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. I really like how uh, the, well, we were playing this. There are a couple levels that made me go, oh, I know that level. I think that's that's good design. You know? Good design is that someone looks at a level and they go, I know what that level is. I know what that level's design is. Also, weird these doors are linked up like that. A really weird design. Also, they are called golems and nitro golems, and yes, regular golems also come in ghost form. Not just the nitro ones. I like that name, nitro golem. Do you have any upgrades that are particularly worth having? I guess the speed one. What's this one again? Oh, that is alchemist dream. Um, that's another for the underbarrel. That's not. How much is that? 90 junk. Uh, how much is spin barrel? Sure, I'll buy 40. And I'll buy the other. Oh no. See, the problem with Blazing Sphere is that Waddle is a lovely upgrade. Holy shit, if it's not it's just a smidge too fast. Fuck it, let's upgrade this one too. I like how in the first chapter I started to do this, I needed extra ammo, but here it's like, I don't care. It's entirely plausible that the first two chapters actually expect you to use some of the, uh, the melee weapon a little bit more on the harder difficulty modes, because they could get away with that, but... Ba, ba, ba. It's the recoil being removed that really makes this worthwhile. 
They are undead warriors, in case you were wondering. You know what? Why doesn't why do, why do they have wampas instead of nitro gold? Nitro gold for Prezio. Nitro gold for president. From Capri Sun. Oh, those buttons. Oh, this is the delay, isn't it? There's always like a little delay mechanism that's like I gotta wait a couple of seconds. And the extra jumps are nice too. So ammo efficiency does not go up using that. Okay. Now you're out there, kid. Kids and kidettes. Can all these secrets just bring you back here. Like, do you want to go back here? There's a way up there, isn't there? But well, okay, that's not even it. Oh great, this is so much. Oh, that's why they did that, so you can't get outside again. Okay. okay. Sir, I don't appreciate this. Like, at all. You were not invited to the party, you were not invited to the after party. In fact, I'm pretty sure you weren't invited to any of the parties. God, I love some of the people's names. They're so elaborate. Oh, that's all the secrets, huh? Uh, that's all the little side secrets, I guess. It's like, have you done everything? You get to have the special prize. Apparently, Rockon never finished Faldish story, which impressed me because I thought he was done. I never watched the full series, as is. I don't know why I stopped watching it. I just, I just, there's a lot of series of Rockon where I'm like, I don't care anymore. Like, even though it's him and it's like all nice and dandy, there's a clear set of games where he just starts acting a certain way. Like, no, like the Mega Man Battle Network thing he's doing right now. Like, he's not playing the the, the Game Boy Advance ones that everyone knows. No, he's playing the other one, the one for the consoles, apparently, which existed. Um, and all I can think about is he complains about how the buster isn't strong and then he upgrades the buster in the wrong way. It's it's just kind of silly how he acts sometimes. Yeah, I face tanked you. What about it? You know what I also did? I got botulism. I don't have anything planned for dinner tonight, actually. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just maybe I'll just not do dinner. Maybe I'll just uh, eat a little bit of something simple, you know. Do I have to make a rocket? No, I don't. It's just set this thing. Do I have botulism? There's the secret exit, which leads to the secret exit. No, but I'll be honest. I think this whole playthrough thing was a great idea. Just having a, a I don't have to give a shit. Because normally the way it works is I play a series and I feel somewhat obliged to give the game the common courtesy, you know? Like, be courteous to the game, show a little bit of respect. Um, don't be an ass about it, you know, just show the game some respect, give it the time to shine, give it that 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 essence it needs to, to succeed at whatever the hell it's trying to succeed at, you know? But uh, here I can just do whatever I want, because I've already done a playthrough of this where I've been like nice and legit about it. So it's like, what else do you want me to do? Ah, oh, my nose! <laughs> Would that be 16 times damage, or what? Man, that, that's like a whole level that's just hidden away. Oh, why did I do this?! I, uh, I'm not happy that I went for the secret level. I could have skipped this and fine. You may notice that this level is fucking dark! That's problem number one. Uh, which is luckily very niftily solved with this. The problem is this level just flashes a whole bunch and it's just frustrating to look at. Even with the torch, uh, because everything is lit up by the torch, it's all just, it's so frustrating. Like, why did you make this level? Also, the 
tracers look like shit this way. The problem is, there are a bunch of liches out here. Clean up on aisle four, clean up on aisle three, clean up on all the aisles. Just all of them. So what am I going to do with dinner? Got to figure that one out. So the biggest problem is, where do we start again? How do we kick this level off? Because this level ain't going to beat itself. A beater. uses the spell I don't want to use. <laughs> like, these last too long is the problem. Oh, it makes a little noise and it goes away. That's nice. I didn't know that. I hate this level. I hate this level because it's going to make this runtime way too long. I have to deal with that. Like, the thing is, I've experimented with those things. I've tried to figure out what makes them tick. Is it distance? Is it runtime? What is it? What's the big idea? Okay, that's one room clear. This is kind of one of those places where using RAV map is actually a shit idea because you keep forgetting where you were. This level is also extremely big for what it is. Like, this is not a small level. For a uh, heretic, at least. Well, we have Berserk, and we got Boar Shots in case I need them. flashing lights going on. I just wish there was an option that let you just turn it on off. Which is why I think they did uh, Dragon Vision. It's like, listen, this shit's bullshit. Also, that teleport animation effectively makes you blind for a second. how this goes. You're supposed to do this for a little bit. When the man runs out of ammo, that just means the knife gets to come out. Trailblazer just gives you too much ammo efficiency. Like the amount of ammo you get per, per, per thing, the amount of damage potentially you get. 
Don't forget that. We're getting damage potential. When we find ammo, what we find is we find damage potential. Every bullet we pick up is a potential amount of damage we could potentially do to a target. That's what we're really picking up. Um, and it's that damage potential that you pick up that determines exactly how balanced the system is in terms of ammo distribution. Is does it give you enough damage to actually solve the problems you're forced to deal with? Not the one I intend to use. But I think you figured that out now. Like, I'm sure if you actually, like, 100% beat this level and know what the fuck you're doing and know how to do it, this isn't bad. Like, this is something you can just do, you know? But if you just step into this level for the first time, it's, it's a pain. It's work. How does this one work again? I don't even know if Heretic has, like, uh... Now that I know about hover mode... I mean, I guess you could just... You could just walk through this place. You don't actually have to go anywhere. You want to fight? Okay. Did I go up there? No, I went back up. Okay. Make this quick start. I've got places to go, I've got to follow my rainbow. Something, something, shooting. No. Now there are four. What do we do here again? <laughs> oh, hi, Ma. I'm not using this, because that's dangerous. Oh, and it's, it's, it's the fact the weapon's dangerous that puts me off. Really? Where do, we go? do I go back? I can't go back yet. Video games! so much easier. Because otherwise you're just kind of muddling through this whole thing. Creepers, bloody creepers. Cooper, bloody creeper. But 
Yes, cuts from Rocky. That was an old meme. I think that was one of the first memes I saw in my life. I can't believe I saw that meme. So what's next? Well, now we're done! I think all we're supposed to do is get the key. So now we have the key, we can just leave. Miss Katsuragi, the truth is... Have you ever considered the distinct possibility that there is no one universal truth on this matter? I don't even know what the hell the original context of that is. I'm starting to see whether it's ammo efficiency thing. Because holy fucking shit, this sucks if it wasn't. You know what? I don't care about the last year. Let's get out of here. We're already pushing 50 minutes, and I got way too many levels to go. We gotta push this. We gotta push the pedal to the metal. Hack a little squid. I'm in the driver's seat. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Why do I even have uneven numbers on this? The weird thing is, this gun just doesn't have ammo efficiency going for it. Like, the amount of ammo you get compared to the amount of ammo you want is just shit. It might, again, just be the settings of the difficulty, because... <sighs> oh man, I just lost my train of thought. Burping. Um, again, this might just beat the difficulty setting. Because... Uh... I'm pretty sure, like, don't forget, this is the shotgun, a.k.a. the ethereal crossbow, a.k.a. your staple weapon. That, I mean, the pillars are what makes that the cool, cool stuff, because, like, all oh, the pillars walk to me. Because in vanilla, you actually get, I think, 50% more ammo. You don't get double ammo, you get 50% more ammo uh, on pickup, which is nice. Quad damage. Oh, I'm getting this right away. Where is it? It's on your jump. Okay, I think if you actually did quad damage for, like, the player 2, you probably kill the player real fast, because some enemies are, in fact, designed to kill very brief amount of time. Okay, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you need from me? Yeah, this is squad damage at its finest. Just chewing through those bastards. Wow, a lot happens in that room, doesn't it? That was always on because it was in the overall theme and <laughs> it was then that the song truly became entrenched within my brain space. Master Exploder Blueprint. I'm very curious to see what that does. To the point that I'm kind of curious on purchasing it. How much does it cost? Okay, we'll just do Eddie Cafe. <laughs> what? I am the 
Fleischer. Get your meat here, fresh meat, fresh from the manure fields. Man, I love the way Patrick said that he just gets just, just, just the right amount of nasal for it. Fresh from the manure fields. Manure. What did I miss? Oh my god, don't tell me that button's time. Oh, I just remember exactly what this is. Okay, okay, this is gonna fucking suck. Oh, what's gonna... I need to just... I need to make a fucking post and just smack him on my screen saying, get into this, but I don't care. This is my... I don't fucking care series. That's not it. And what is? I said I wouldn't use this before. You know, I think I'm gonna save it for the Blastmaster. Because that will make life so much easier. I could just rub my face on someone and blow them up. I don't know if I want to play Doom Gold Souls. Uh, I think it was on the schedule on the docket. But you know, you sometimes just gotta take it. Sometimes you just gotta stick two fingers up your butt. Solve for X when the opportunity arises. I push the button, right? Yeah, I push the button. Oh, and this is when we come back later for the blue key, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's how to do it. Blue key acquired. Compito fighter acquired! Okay, I understand the point. There's an old Japanese saying, just because you meant to, doesn't mean it's good. I'm kind of grown very affectionate of the idea of half health. Like, okay, you're pretty strong, you got the guns to keep, keep the distance going, so why don't you just get half health instead of, of, of good stuff? Really should have made better than just the disciples of this barrel because they don't cut it. They don't cut the jib. Need to pick up the pace. I'm not gonna start off with me being like, I'll just do an auto, and then I'm like, okay, I'll just do the hard mode run. Which I think says a lot about my burn, burn. I mean, the difference, like, I'm, I'm usually the guy who's like, I don't want to play difficult things, and I'm like, I just want to do something difficult. I just want to do something a little different. This time I want to stick my, 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 my face over of an enemy. I want to go for some reason, I will forever associate with Dungeons and Dragons. So I just like me not like the banana, angry, cat no banana. Um, 
That two will forever be associated with Angiones and Dragonies for no good reason. And for those people who find it frustrating the card calling of Dungeonies and Dragonies. Um, I didn't pick the name at the end. Also they make the lyrics which are doo how do I get across this motherfucking bridge? I just did that for the shallows. I wonder how that worked, if they were all like in a teleport room or something. Doesn't even achieve anything. I guess killing players would be harsh. Where are these? Get out of town. Get out of town. Get out of my house. Here's the enemy placement a lot more lenient than I was expecting it to be. I love the little shitty holes. Something about them just makes you go eat. Oh, yes, that section. What I hate is that this thing has uh, this this aura around where it fires, where it causes things to go away. It's really frustrating to deal with. Because it just makes it so hard to deal with, you know. Oh. I should probably talk about my love life. This is the perfect place to talk about that. I'm slowly sure to come to realize that, um, Either I'm very picky on who I wanna who I would call to get another. Or um, I've just met some weird people. Or I just don't like people. And I always fool myself because everyone said you have to you have to like people. I mean these are nice people, these are de decent individuals to spend the rest of your life with. But it's like what I what I really want to do. Part of the Eternity Clause. You know, I've always thought about that idea of like people protecting the sanctity of marriage. And I've always thought that, thought that it felt like shifting the goalpost. It's like, you know, if we can't win from from the queer homosexuals in that way, then we'll just shift the goalposts. We'll just, we'll just say it at the actual. Like you, you didn't really win. You, you haven't, you haven't won until until you get the marriage. No. Bop, bop, bop. 
Serious damage! It's better. Why damage is too luck? I'm so serious, the scream is so serious! Kadunk, 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 kadunk. Ham it up a little. Give me some love, baby! Scenic shot's not a bad upgrade. The edge. Oh, God. Why are all these levels in this one set? I hate it. Okay. Several minutes later. Mm -hmm. Though not intentionally so. I did not intentionally step away to take a little while on this. Um, this just kind of happened then. Sometimes shit happens, you know. That's what's fun about this uh, sort of mini series. I can do whatever the hell I want. It's my way! Because this whole series is, is just. It's, it's not even like on the mandatory upload schedule. It's just me having fun, you know? What you gonna do? What you gonna do if I commit while you're fraud? Also, you try to sue me. What you gonna do, oh, what you gonna do, when they come for your daddy? What you gonna do, what you gonna do, when they come for your daddy? I'm taking the dodge action, which normally doesn't give you benefits on dexterity saving throws, but we'll say that for this particular version, if you take dodge, you get, uh, you essentially get evasion. Wouldn't that be kind of neat? Like, in instead of, like, you get evasion. So if you get hit, you still take half damage. It put a lot more, like, reason to you. Oh, what is I think right now it's just disadvantage, it's just disadvantage on the attack or something like that. But imagine how much more you could do if you just didn't give a shit. There's an ancient Chinese art known as Don't Give a Hoot, Please Pollute. Which China is thoroughly regretting ever promoting. Which is probably why recently when they were like, oh, some 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 people for trade are coming, they shut down all the factories in Beijing, a friend of mine told me. Which is like, apparently, cool. That'll save us a lot. In terms of, uh, I'm pretty sure that they just kept that up for a little longer. Pretty sure the world will be just fucking peachy. Killing bats. So where do I go? Wow, I'm still picking up stim packs. Incroyable. My hands are all sticky. Why are they sticky? Do you know why Sapphire Cook's hands are sticky? Send your entry to nine 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 nine. In case you're having to speak German, yes, that does mean no, 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 no. You're so funny, Mark. And that's the end of that chapter. I'm, I'm done on this island. I know that much. Buy that thing. It's the uranium shop. I want this one. Too bad we don't get to see any barrels, but you get the point. Actually, why don't I just upgrade this? Prepare to be terminated. Uh, I don't want to be a, a deal breaker, but uh, <laughs> kick down a man and knock down a door. We're right over here. 
love that you get like one. It's a nice, nice number for explosives. However, we've got to put the pedal to the metal, hack a little squid. I'm in the driver's seat, and I'm behind the wheel. Brick by brick, talk like, and I don't know the rest of that song. I just know it says brick by brick at some point. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. You know, the thing about this game that I really like is that things like the Phoenix Rod actually were really well designed, and it really felt like interesting weapons. I'm like, oh man, I picked up the Phoenix Rod! Wait, so blast spheres are just like random explosions. Well, ain't that something. Ain't that a son of a gun? I'm sorry, you weren't prepared to be terminated, huh? Oh my god, why does everything teleport here? It's prepared to be terminated, I'll prepare to be... Oh, I know why that happened. There we go. It was blues, clues, blues, clues. I love it. Wink, wink. It was blues, clues, blues. Now, the thing about blues, clues is that uh, the term. Also sound a lot like a uh, what's what's it called? Oh fuck! It was so who cares? It sounds a bit like shirt, like blouse. So it sounds, it sounds like blouse. Clues. Blouse. Fucking singing it. Cause we're like ha 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 ha. Who cares? Ha 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 ha. So whatever trigger this, it's, it's gone now, huh? This my sanctuary spot used to be yours, but it's mine now. Okay. But Miss Katsuragi, the question is... No way to stop me from taking over another. This used to be your sanctuary, but it's mine now. So prepare to fight. Like how they turn to ash, like they go. Is a whole lot of nothing. I love secrets that are just nothing. You found an ancient secret hidden amidst the mists of time. Only the wisest of the elders can uncover its location. There's nothing here! As we all know, the truest of treasures is the one we can only take for ourselves. Get fucked, old man. Oh, that's nice. So you step there and you just be fucked. No, I just want to finish this. 
I kind of do wish that they had like something better than the, the this brilliant servants. They do kind of just get. Eh. Blazing sphere, soul sphere, sphere sphere. I wish I had ammo drinking because without ammo drinking, this is kind of like eh. See, the thing is, in 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 in, in Golden Doom, Golden Souls, um, enemies don't move if you shoot them. That's a, a place you get the Phoenix Rod, and by golly, is that a cool way to present it? And the fact that it does heat damage because you're standing on something hot. Why are there so many ghouls? Like, why are not throw I guess they already threw out a bunch of bad stuff, but you, you get my point, right? You get, you, you, you get me, right? You, you, you're feeling me, bro. You're feeling me, bro. Please stop actually feeling me. Like, this is just excessive. Get off secrets. Iron Liches. Blazing Sphere. And a Nicotine Rush. Nicotine Rush. So, the reason I was thinking that they take half damage or have some sort of physical resistance. They are actually resistant to, I think not the rippers, but they are resistant to the primary shot of the upgraded Dragon Claw. Which uh, makes sense, considering uh, Dragon Claw does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Last level, let's make a count. I forgot. This level's kind of annoying. You have to remember, there's only a few weapons that can effectively target these kinds of creatures, because they're ghosts. Making this frustrating enough to be a very good final level, because it annoys the shit out of you. I used to eat pizza with fries. But then, I ate a dick. Then, I'm the best. Cheese goes well with bread. Twelve years of intense studies under the great masters of Otnikai to learn the magnificence of cheese. But even then, there's a limit to what one mortal creature can learn about the art of cheese. How does one raise the bridges? Raise, I say! Rise to the occasion! Rise to success! Oh, I think I know how this works. You're supposed to shoot something, right? We've done it. That's so creepy. Come, Peter, Peter, de beat it. Not the peats. Not the peats, man. Not the peats. The puffins. I wonder. Does does this ultimate mega damage also affect your your splash, your splishy splash? He sparkled softly and light. It was late. Everyone, please eat some cheese. I bought way too much. Warning, emergency at level three. Emergency at level three. Come, Peter, Peter, defeat it. 
monster. You struck him right where it hurts. Right in the peats. I was like saying peats. It's the cute little word. For peats. I love to be to be puffed with peats. For peats. Because they are so super soft. You could fit them in a shoe. Also, I'm just way out of it. I'm way out of it. Like to eat some cheese, or are you more but common bear? The secret has been revealed. But the secret is the key you need to pass this level. I'm sorry, but what awaits us behind the glorious gate of the Computer Piter, who we must defeat? Are you ready to rumble? We haven't used this boy all day. Oh, I forgot, they just put a whole bunch of these fuckers in the room and they're like, this is the most difficult level we can imagine. Which I guess it is. In the right circumstances, they're pretty tough, but if you have, like, a, a tome of power, you can probably push out the DPS needed to push them out. Anyway. We depeated the computer piters. The video game has been won. What? Wasn't this a, a late edition that they made custom for this one? Oh my god. But I remember this one. We're in tough luck because I'm pretty sure this is actually pretty difficult on like vanilla mode on normal. It's not gonna get any better. Next time, will the computer piters be depeated? Or will we face a fate worse than death? Bleed!